Hi, my name is Joe Hernandez. I'm a certified interpreter for the state of California and for the federal courts, and I've been a professional interpreter for over 20 years. Today, what we're going to do is view a video where you will receive for free idioms and slang so that you can better prepare for the court interpreter written examination. Okay, so congratulations. I'm going to give you lots of idioms, lots of slang that very easily could be in the court interpreter written examination. All right, so let's follow along and hopefully we'll learn something so we can pass even with a higher score at the court interpreter written examination. Again, we're doing idioms and slang that are likely to come up in the court interpreter written exam and it's good for us to know in real life as well. Okay, let me give you some, see what you think. If I say this is going to be duck soup, do you know what I'm saying? The answer is that it's going to be very easy to do. We call that duck soup. And if I say that I am still wet behind the ears, what I'm saying is that I am not, not knowledgeable. Okay? The director of the play is known for splitting hairs. That would be that he is being overly critical. And then if he received a few Benjamins for his work, that would be that he received a few hundred dollar bills. Again, all these idioms and slangs are very valuable for us once we get to the court interpreter written examination. We knew everyone was on the take. That would be accepting bribes. Last night we were mooned by this guy in a pickup. That would be that he showed us his buttocks. I've been on the lam for five years. It means that I've been a fugitive from justice for five years. Don showed up dressed in drag. That would be that he showed up dressed in women's clothing. Everyone knew he was a pusher. That would be that he was a drug dealer. Last night I was burning the midnight oil. That would be studying very hard. Let's give you some more. The more of these idioms and slang that we know, the easier the court interpreter written exam is going to be for us. The written exam has 25 of these idioms and slang questions of the, th of the 135 questions, okay? So it's going to be absolutely perfect for us. Let me give you some more. Peter was called on the carpet. That would be that he was reprimanded. We were told that Steve cashed in his chips. That would be that he died. Jim spent some time in the cooler or some time in the can. That would be time in jail. Mike copped a plea. That would be that he pled guilty to a lesser charge. The heat showed up too late. That would be the police showed up too late. Ray works as a head hunter. That would be that he works as an employment recruiter. The kid got capped. That would be that he was shot to death. I heard he bought the farm, that would be he died. We have a lot of idioms and slang for died. Okay, let's give you some more. This will be a lot of fun. Martha doesn't pull any punches, that would be she doesn't hold back. He is strapped this week, he is broke this week. My idea went over like a lead balloon, that would be that it had no success, it failed. I bought a zip gun. That would be a homemade handgun. I was selling straw. What was I selling? I was selling marijuana. We saw a streaker yesterday. That would be a person running naked in public. Sam was four sheets to the wind. That's drunk out of his mind. Anna and I always go out to dinner. Dutch. That would be she pays her tab and I pay my tab. Okay, let's do some more. The undercover police officer was made in less than a week. That would be identified. My candy man was pushing purple cush. That would be marijuana. The gang member was wearing a flag. That would be a bandana with gang colors. Last I heard, he was making some hard coin. That would be earning lots of money. The couple jumped the broom. That would be, they got married. He has a monkey on his back. That means that he is a drug addict. We heard he did hard time. That would be that he was in prison. The officer made two callers. That would be that he made two arrests. 
Here comes the brass. The brass is the people of high rank. Okay, let's do some more. Again, the code interpreter written exam consists of 135 multiple choice questions. 25 of those questions have to deal with idioms and slang just like we are covering here today in this video. So congratulations, take it in, learn, and if you need more preparation, please just go to our website. We have the video library for you when you can do the entire Court Interpreter Written Exam Workshop on video. The die has been cast. That would be there is no way to change what has been done. Last night I bought a Saturday night special. That would be a small, easily obtainable handgun. He showed up to this party in his birthday suit. That would be naked in the buff, in the wrong, wearing nothing but a smile. Now, if you want to show up to a party in your birthday suit, please do. Go right ahead. I have absolutely no objection. However, before you show up to that party in your birthday suit, you may want to have your birthday suit pressed because so I hear some birthday suits are just a little more wrinkled than others. So I hear. That gets us to Tommy took the rap. If Tommy took the rap, that means that he took the blame. He wears his heart on his sleeve. That would be that he shows his true feelings. Sam didn't turn a hair. That means he showed no emotion. Be sure to keep your nose to the grindstone. Keep working hard. Let's do some more. We heard he stayed at a house of many doors. That is a prison. He finally bought the big one. He died. I went over to the alley to buy a lid. That would be one half to one ounce of marijuana. I had a date with a lady of the evening. That would be a hooker. She went to see the candy man. That would be the drug dealer. Gabriel was sent up the river. That would be a prison. Okay. To starting tomorrow, not today, but starting tomorrow, I'm going to lay off the sauce. So what am I going to do starting tomorrow? The answer is stop drinking alcohol. But starting tomorrow, not today. He's living high on the hog. That would be enjoying luxuries. We heard he took the plunge. That would mean he got married. She thinks she's the bee's knees. She thinks she's the best. I'll be here till the cows come home. So, so when am I going to be here? I'll be here for a very long time. I had no option but to eat crow. That would be admit that I was wrong and apologize. We made a killing on that deal. We had huge profits on that deal. If he handed me a C note, he handed me a $100 bill. Again, these are very valuable, very valuable for us for the written examination for court interpreter. I know that my brother likes to play the field. That would be that he tries to date as much as possible. We went to buy some hazel. That would be some heroin. He gave me some mula. What did he give me? He gave me some money. Okay, mula. I decided to throw in the towel. That would mean that I decided to give up. I decided to quit. The company had me work as a plant. That would be as an undercover informant. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. It means that I'm going to join what is already successful. I spent some time in the slammer, so where was I? I was in jail. If I picked out last night, you know what I did? I ate way too much. Again. Let's see what else we have for you. He is off his rocker. If he is off his rocker, that means that he is loony. He is crazy. It's time to put our shoulder to the wheel. It's time to work hard. He definitely jumped the gun. He acted too soon. We're going to rake him over the coals. It means we're going to scold him harshly. They got married on the QT. They got married on the DL. Any idea what that means? It means that they got married quietly and discreetly. He was caught selling reefer. That would be letter well, it would be marijuana. My dogs are barking. It means that my feet are hurting. I didn't know he was a convict. I didn't know that he was a yardbird. So a yardbird is a convict. 
He's been burning the candle at both ends. That would be working in excess. I hope you'll excuse my French. That would be cussing. I know Albert is pushing up daisies. So if Albert is pushing up daisies, do you know what he's doing? He's not doing anything because he's dead. Okay. Last I heard, he was in the brig. That would be a military jail. He dropped a dime on me. He faint on me. They are in cahoots. They are working in secret partnership. Timothy was sold down the river. That means that he was betrayed by a person that he trusted. He was caught selling hemp. That would be marijuana. Did you hear that he is now taking holy orders? That would be that he became a priest. John was sent to the big house. Do you know where he was sent? He was sent to prison. I could see that he was strapped. I could see that he was carrying a firearm. Okay? These are very valuable for us for the court interpreter written exam. Any one of these could come up on the written exam. Okay, let's continue. He was caught selling blow, cocaine. We heard he went AWOL, that would be absent without leave. Last night we went we all went skinny dipping. That means that we went swimming naked. Now as far as I know, if you're skinny and you go swimming naked, it's called skinny dipping. If you happen to be chunky, I think they call it chunky dunking. That's what I hear. The smugglers were caught at the border bringing Acapulco gold into the country. That would be marijuana. We all knew that he was packing heat. That means that he was carrying a firearm. Okay, let's do some more. These are a lot of fun. They started to use elbow grease. That would be do hard physical work. They greased his palm. They bribed him. Paul was caught smoking angel dust. That would be PCP. All we need to know is angel dust is PCP. PCP is angel dust. Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I know that one very well. Bill wanted to sow his wild oats. He wanted to have a period of pleasure seeking. We heard he bit the dust. He died. We have a lot of idioms and slang to mean to pass away. She came dressed as lamb. It means that she showed up in clothes, in clothes for a much younger woman. So this woman, 48, 49, but pushing 50, and she's in dress, and she's dressed in clothes for a much younger woman. Do you have any idea where this woman shops? I can tell you, she shops at Forever 21. Okay, that gets us to, I am between the devil and the deep blue sea. That means that I face two unpleasant alternatives. Let's see what else we have for you. She has been known to turn a trick or two. Mm -hmm. That would mean to have sex for money. I've been on the wagon since July. It means that I've been without alcohol since July. He definitely likes to bend an elbow with his friends. He likes to go out and drink alcohol with his friends. Are you going to accept the olive branch? Are you going to accept the olive branch? That means are you going to accept an offer to end a disagreement and make peace? Makes sense, right? Can you believe she took the veil? If she took the veil, it means that she became a nun. You, my friend, are preaching to the choir. What am I saying with this? I'm saying that I, I already know and I already am in agreement with what you have to say. You don't have to convince me. Okay, let's continue. Hopefully you're keeping up with me. I took the pledge yesterday, so I promised not to drink yesterday. To take the pledge is to promise not to drink. All right, let's see what else we have for you. That's gonna be very useful for you for your court interpreter written exam when you get to the idioms and slang portions of the test. She's got a bun in the oven. Do you know what that means? It means that she is pregnant. Peter lives on Easy Street. It means that he is enjoying a very comfortable lifestyle. Now, if you live on Skid Row, it's the opposite. You're living in the poorest parts of town. That is definitely on my bucket list. So if it, if it is on my bucket list, it means that it is the list of things for me to do before dying. It's called the bucket list. And there was a movie by that title as well. I think it's about to kick the bucket. Here we go again, die. 
He's good at speaking off the cuff. He's good at speaking spontaneously without preparation. What's your 20? We're asking, what is your present location? Okay, let's continue. These are perfect for us for the court interpreter written exam. After several years, he finally ended up in God's Acre. Do you know where he's en he ended up? He ended up in a cemetery. Man, oh man, did she ever read me the right act that would be scolded me harshly. I think he still has an axe to grind. It means that he has private reasons for getting involved or arguing for, for a particular cause. I know for sure he is going to raise Cain. These are very difficult. He is going to be extremely upset, extremely angry. We heard he became a man of the cloth. That would be a priest. When we get there, we will play it by ear. We'll improvise as the circumstances warrant. It's time to hit the hay. It's time to go to sleep. Time to go to bed. How long have you been on the run? That means how long have you been a fugitive from justice? Patricio died with his boots on. Very strange, isn't it? Patricio died with his boots on. That means that he died while still practicing his profession. He let us have it straight from the shoulder. He let us have it straight from the shoulder. That means with all sincerity and directly. Yesterday's performance was his swan song. I'm sure you've heard it. Yesterday's performance was his swan song. That would be his last performance. He has the Midas touch. That means that everything that he does comes out well. Samuel gave up the ghost. That means he died. He said it tongue in cheek, which means that he was not saying it seriously. He was joking, kidding. She is still carrying the torch for him. That means she still has feelings for him still loves him. I take what he says with a grain of salt. That would be, I am careful about believing what he has to say. Let's see what else we have for you. That's going to be very valuable for you. I attended the School of Hard Knocks. Do you know what the school is? It is Lessons of Real Life Experiences. I decided to go there commando. So if I'm going there commando, how am I going to show up there? That would be without underwear, believe it or not. Okay, let's give you some more to help you make this written exam so much easier for you. Welcome to the Mile High Club. Welcome to the Mile High Club. What are we saying? We're saying that you are now part of couples who have had sex in a plane in flight. It's called the Mile High Club. It appears that she has lost the Battle of the Bulge. If she has lost the Battle of the Bulge, it means that she has lost the attempts to lose weight. We need more nose candy. We need more nose candy. Do you know what we need? We need powdered drugs that are inhaled. Again, he was in the grip of the grape. Again, he was in the grip of the grape. It means that he was drunk on wine. It has to be on wine. Thus, we have the grape. As usual, he is carrying iron. Obviously, he's carrying a gun, some kind of firearm. I could sure go for a roll in the hay. If you remember before, it was time to hit the hay, which is time to go to sleep. But if you want a roll in the hay, then you want some kind of sexual relations. Don't worry, I am carrying an equalizer. I am carrying a handgun. I think he is headed straight to the clink. That would be jail. I decided to throw my hat in the ring. That would mean that I'm going to announce that I was going to enter a competition. Throw my hat in the ring. I think he's almost ready for a celestial transfer. I think he's almost ready for a celestial transfer. Any idea what that would be? That is death. He's about ready to die. We have many idioms of slang that have to do with death. Once again, he beat the rap. That would be he avoided criminal prosecution. Our bundle of joy is here. Our bundle of joy is here. That would be our baby is here. Okay, let's see what else we have for you. How long have you been a grease monkey? If you're a grease monkey, that would be a mechanic. We need to keep an eye out for Goldilocks. That would be a female police officer. 
I know on which side my bread is buttered. I know where I can receive an advantage for myself. Okay, let's give you some more. I usually give myself the five finger discount. Any idea what I give myself with the five finger discount? That means I steal it. These are a lot of fun, aren't they? I think I'll be riding shotgun. It means I'll be the front seat passenger. I think he just got out of the funny farm last month. That would be a mental institution. This happens once in a blue moon. It means that's a very rare occurrence. Okay, we're almost there. Hang in there. I spent the entire evening with Lady Snow. That would be cocaine. Yes, he died on account of lead poisoning. That would be that he was shot to death. Sam's job is to make moonshine. Do you know what he makes? Homemade whiskey. I always nuke myself once in the spring. That would be a tan myself. Keep this up and you will be ready for the nuttery in no time. That would be the insane asylum. I plan to oink out every day this week. That would be overeat every day this week. I heard that yesterday there was a moonlight requisition. That would be a nighttime theft. We're going to have to hoof it. That means we're going to have to get there walking. We're going to have to hoof it. She is just about ready to sprout wings. Any idea? She's just about ready to sprout wings. That would be about ready to die. How often do you get these senior moments? That would be momentary mental lapses. I just last month got out of Sing Sing. I just last month got out of prison. We're almost there. Hang in there. They caught him with a piece on him. It means they caught him with a handgun on him. Yes, it's true. I was in the pokey yesterday. Do you know where I was yesterday? If I was in the pokey yesterday, I was in jail. I took a bath on that deal. I took a bath on that deal. It means I had huge financial losses. They were sent off to a raisin ranch. That would be a retirement community. Why take coal to Newcastle? Why take coal to Newcastle? Why take items to a place where these items are already there in abundance? Good one for us to know. I heard it cost them a hundred simoleons. Simoleons would be dollars. She told me everything from soup to nuts. That would be from beginning to end. Can you believe he remains at large? That would be a fugitive from justice, same as on the run. We're all in the soup now. We're all in the soup now. It means we're all in trouble now. Last page. You ready? I want to see the color of his money. I want to see the color of his money. It means I want to make sure he has enough money. And the last one for you today is he drew the short straw. If he drew the short straw, it means that he was chosen to perform a very unpleasant task. Okay, I hope it, you enjoyed this video. Idioms and slang that are perfect for us who are taking the court interpreter written exam so that we can then qualify for the oral exam to then become a certified court interpreter. If you'd like the entire video instruction for the court interpreter written exam, please do visit our website. It is Joe Hernandez Interpreting Video Library.com. Again, Joe Hernandez Interpreting videolibrary.com and if you'd like to speak with me please call me at any time my number is 1-800-614-0405 1-800-614-0405 I hope you enjoyed the video thank you take care